Hi, my name is Mary Branham, and today I am here at the College of Southern Maryland because I'm going to be pitching a business idea for a new tea shop that I'd like to call Something's Brewing. And I am interested in having this new tea business in Lexington Park. Southern Maryland's entrepreneurial spirit will be captured as individuals from our local community pitch their ideas, and we're hoping that they score big wins with their business. My name's Jay Guy, and uh, I have an invention I want to share with people today. It's called the Tailgate Backstop Bracket Kit, and um, it's an easy, simple way to be able to extend the bed on your truck without doing any altering. I'm Julie Lenzer Kirk. I'm Mike Pinko, and we're co-chairs of this great, crazy thing we call Startup Maryland. So, yeah, uh, so he, you mentioned Startup America. It's a national organization to ignite entrepreneurship and connect entrepreneurs with resources. One of the things I realized is that every region, every state has different needs. So they kicked off this regional initiative. I would love to tell you that we are this big corporation with fancy offices and big budgets. We're a loose collection of chaotic entrepreneurs just trying to get stuff done. So, and that's what everybody in the room, so we're both entrepreneurs. The, the organizing board of Startup Maryland, we're all entrepreneurs. Some of us uh, serially, some of us, almost all of us chronically. Um, I'm recovering. I just took a job with Howard County Economic Development to run their Maryland Center for Entrepreneurship. First time I haven't signed my own paycheck in 20 years. Interesting. Um, but you, you, it's, it's a, it gets in your blood, doesn't it? Right? Entrepreneurs. And so that is our passion, actually, is trying to help entrepreneurs connect with resources. Hi, I'm Kim Mazingo, and I am president and CEO of the Conwell Group. Uh, we are a strategic communication company, and we help enable people's success, people and organizations' success through the proactive application of strategic communication, frameworks, processes, and principles. And I'm here today to pitch my company, explain a little bit about strategic communication, and let people know how to get in touch with me. Peter, I'm with Southern Maryland News, and I'm here today to get on that pitch bus and pitch taking our model that we've developed here across the country, jurisdiction by jurisdiction. News that, news that, news that, all connected. We want you to tell your story visually in three to five minutes. So, hopefully, you've been practicing. If you haven't, everybody's done a great job and you'll do fine. Just bring the passion. That's what we want to see. And most investors, even though they sit in the room and they listen to the PowerPoint presentations and they ask for a blank four page executive summary of the business plan, they invest in individuals and management teams. I've been there on on the angel investor side, and I've created a for-profit accelerator over in Virginia. We invested in people, not ideas and patents and intellectual property. That's all nice check boxes to have, but if you're putting your money behind somebody, it's them and the people they surround themselves with, and the opportunity that they bring out in the market that is the investment and where you're multiple and then carry returns. And it's the same with customers. Yeah. I mean, when customers catch, if you're not looking for investment, not everybody's looking for investment, customers when you when they see and they hear about your passion for what you do, who's the best salesperson? You are, yeah, you are doing a good job, but you selling your business, and that's what we yep. want to give you the opportunity to do. I am Carol Facone, and I'm Kimberly Hofter, and we're Three Chicks Promotions. We are a women-centric marketing, public relations, and event planning firm here in Southern Maryland, and women are our business. Hi, I'm Liz Cooper. My partner, Linda Garcia, and I have a small company called Seabury Organizers, LLC. Uh, we're registered with the state of Maryland, and we sell um, and make organizers that are stylish and help people to find things quickly, things that they ordinarily lose. A little more, a little more projection. Hi, I'm Liz Cooper. I'm there one, two, three, four, five. That's the one. Okay. All right. I might go, if I go like that, just try and project a little bit. Okay. Okay, here we go. Pitch across Maryland, Southern Maryland, tour stop, Leonardtown, pitch number two. Thank you for having me today. My name is Liz Cooper. Linda Garcia and I are partners in a company called Seabury Organizers, LLC.